My name is Leslie. I'm an alcoholic, and I am at the um, Arizona State Convention in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, and I'm really, this is really exciting. I've heard about recording your story, and um, I don't know anything about it, but it sounds like fun to do. And if I was going to say anything about my story, it would be about second chances. Um, when I first was introduced to Alcoholics Anonymous, I was 29 years old, a newlywed, and in a straight jacket <laughs> at a hospital because I had attempted suicide. And my husband said, you cannot come home unless you get help. So I didn't want to be homeless. And so I decided to go to get what they called treatment. And um, my first doctor told me that I was an alcoholic. And I disagreed with him. And I fired him. Um, and had another doctor that said I had the possibility to become an alcoholic. Um, little did I know that I really was one. But if you tell a lie enough to yourself, it becomes your truth. And I just wanted to get through my time there and get back to normal. And when I, less, le I went to my first meeting there, and it was a cloud of smoke with, I'm sure they were all men, and just stared at me the whole time. And that's how insecure I was about, about going to meetings. So I already had that bias of not going to meetings because you all were different. Um, I got out promising I'd never, ever, ever drink again and with, except for special occasions. And the first holiday that came along was probably Flag Day. And I ended up going back to my normal drinking. But my drinking did change at that point after a dose of Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, I started hiding my drinking. I, at, Fast forward again, and seven years later, and I have two babies at home, and I'm hiding my bottles in the laundry room. I'm throwing them out at the, my bottles at the neighbor's house. I'm going to different stores so people don't recognize me and think that I might be an alcoholic. I did everything I could not to be an alcoholic, and I ended up saying, OK, I can't do this anymore. And uh, I had a higher power at that time that I asked for guidance. And I ended up going back to that same treatment center. And it was different. There weren't all these men in there. There was maybe three or four men and a gal, one lady. And they were welcoming. And they encouraged me to come back. And they showed me this blue book that I said I had, and I had read it, but I hadn't. I had told my, I had lied about that to myself. Um, I had a second chance again in Alcoholics Anonymous, and that was when I was 37. I got sober, and I've been sober ever since then. And Alcoholics Anonymous has taught me that my worst moments can be my biggest strengths if I can share them with another person. And that's, that's what it's taught me, is thinking more of other people and how you can help them ra get sober rather than thinking how you're going to get me sober. That's it. <laughs>